Alrighty, good evening everybody. All you beautiful people, hello and welcome to the channel. Um, so today we got another cast on the cards. I've done a lot of these casts, actually all of them, I think tonight, honestly. So even though these are the last couple of videos are like you know, four or five days apart, this is the, I think, third video that I'm filming tonight. And this is it. This is the last one I'm doing. So don't ask me to do another one. I'm not doing another one tonight. I'm tired going to sleep after this but anyway uh the reason why we're doing this video this was submitted by scooby um so he is playing as uef here in the southern side of the map going first land and his opponent is uh jpp 90 also playing uef going first land and uh already getting some some action going so i was really excited to see this one mostly because scooby's been a long term long time follower of the channel well i mean this is a super young channel so i mean i guess long time follower of the channel means like more than a month but scooby's been a long time follower of the channel there's another cast of his that's actually up on the channel um and so i was really excited to see uh what kind of improvements we we are seeing from this game to compared to as compared to the previous game so we'll go ahead and get into the casting so uh, Scooby's got a pretty good build order, I think, set up. Just going land all day. Um, energy generators put all over the place, but they seem to be spaced out by one unit. So this is to mitigate damage from T1 bombers. His mirror on the opposite side is much going for a much more compact, compact build. So getting maximum adjacency bonus off of the mass extractors which is great and getting max adjacency bonus off of the power generators so this is really important um, i've done videos on this in the past as far as what the uh what the actual benefit is to setting up adjacency bonuses here and it's pretty sizable it also is very helpful because um, jp can build all this without his commander moving which is fantastic but first engineers are out we got a reclaim mission up here on the eastern side of the map. And if I could lock my cursor to the screen, um, another reclaim mission here. And it uh, looks like some build orders coming out. So expanding to this perimeter mass point, probably going to be capturing this hydro, which is definitely important. Um, Scooby is going for a little bit of early aggression here. We got a mech marine as well as a snoop and a similar little band. Fi filing down the right hand side of the map so uh, that's excellent being able to uh being able to get some early aggression out i'm not sure if jp has a response so okay so we do have a couple strikers out we do have a couple snoops out so he's definitely geared up to be able to respond we'll see if he's uh in the right place at the right time so snoop has found somebody we'll see if scooby is paying enough attention to be able to react looks like up oh, yep there we go all right Mech Marine engages. I think that is a dead engineer, unfortunately. Yeah, reclaim as much as you can. Well, there it goes. And he's down. All right, some similar action going on over on this side of the map, but there are two strikers here, which should be able to mitigate any damage. Uh, this Mech Marine, yeah, that Mech Marine is done. So early aggression mitigated. Um, from JP, he's also got a mech marine of his own as well as a striker over here, so that'll keep this little group from doing any additional damage on that side of the house. Uh, from a uh, economy perspective, these guys are pretty close. Um, Scooby seems to be out ecoing just a little bit, uh, three point three mass to three point uh, three thousand, even three point one. Um, on the energy side, energy is fluctuating all over the place, most likely due to the fact that these guys are reclaiming these like tree kind of um, formations, I guess is the word that I'm looking for. Brain fart, sorry. Um, I really miss this map. So I don't think that this map, they let people over 800 play this map on ladder, but I really miss this map. It was one of the ones that I got my, it was one of my bread and butter maps whenever I was like a three, 400 player as far as getting into getting into the game so i would kind of miss this map it's really great to see this map back on the ladder i'm really looking forward to uh seeing additional casts and being able to cast this map a little bit more so we do have a striker out for scooby and a little band of strikers here while well, a snoop and a series of strikers looking to do either a run by or contest this right side so looking more like a run by so trying to get into the backfield here and do some damage and then changes his mind and decides to uh, go a little bit more aggressive. 
against this position. Unfortunately, JP's got a good contingent of tanks here outnumbering Scooby, so I don't think Scoob's going to get a whole lot done here. By the way, Scooby, correct me if correct me if I'm pronouncing your name incorrectly. I've always pronounced it like that, but I'm also realizing that I'm pronouncing it like the uh, detective dog. <laughs> um, five factories up for Scoob. Five factories. Well, four land, one air. So, okay, so JP is going into the air game a little bit. We'll see how this actually works out or if he's able to use air to his advantage. I'm not seeing a response from Scoob on the air side of things. That could be pretty damaging later on in the game if he's able to get some some uh, scorchers over these more perimeter mass positions. Another little attempt at a run by is going to be blunted by JP over here on this side of the things. He does have, Scooby does have a pretty large contingent of, well, Pretty large, but a, a relatively large con contingent of T1 units that can contest this side of things. So he's going to move these guys in. And it looks like he's going to try and take this one step at a time, which is good. And take out this tank and then that engineer. We see a reaction from JP, but some of these strikers are pretty, well, pretty heavily damaged. So that shouldn't be an issue, especially with the backup. I'm trying to dodge a... Uh, some Scorcher fire. Needs to incorporate some archers into his build order, at least. Or maybe get into the air game himself. Um, yeah, getting at least like one archer into the build order would definitely help against uh, the attack bombers from JP. So map control looking relatively favorable for JP. Well, it actually looks like it's kind of a wheeling motion, so... Wow, Scoop's got just tons of factories built out I don't know whether this is a template or or what but that's he's obviously done some math as far as how many P gens he needs exactly to make these land factories run but there's a little bit of a wheeling motion so we've got Scoob going uh, west and then north and then his opponent going east and then south and we're gonna see the first contingents of JP's forces start dealing with uh, these T1 mass extractors on the southern side. In the middle, we have JP's commander as well taking control of that middle portion. And so we do have some archers that are out from Scoob, so going to be able to blunt well, a lot of archers actually, that's good. Going to be able to blunt some of these uh, some of the air power that JP is fielding against him. And it looks like he diverted a good portion of forces to take out this little run by right here. So I don't think JP is going to get a whole lot done. He did kill a mass extractor here, but I don't know if there's a whole lot that's going to get done on this side of things. Moving to the middle, JP is on a gun range, damage and range upgrade. So Scoop moving in with his comm. These guys are just going to go mano y mano toe to toe and uh, you know right now I think that's going to be okay and Scoob will win that because he's got supporting forces coming in from the south but whenever that gun damage and range comes in I don't think you're going to win that one homie yeah, so we'll see how much damage can actually get done so target priority again this must have been a change. This didn't used to happen as far as the comms switching up target priority. I don't think you used to need a mod to be able to focus enemy commander, but, you know, balance being what it is. So Scoop's comm is pretty far forward without support, and we now have Zeph Amp up on JP. So that comm is going to be doing some pretty hefty damage. Just kind of knocking away the T1 spam for Scoob. Lots of T1 factories. Lots of T1 factories. Kill death ratio though is very close for them. Also going nano repair. Wow. Okay, so JP is going. 
uh, Rambocom 3000, basically. This guy wants to... This guy wants his comm to be a beefy boy, and he wants his comm to do some pretty serious damage. Shifting to... And looking at their eco, um, it does look like JP has the eco to support it. He's out edging Scoob a little bit on the eco side of the house. So he does have the eco, it seems, to support nano repair. And this little run by down here in the south did get past and did a little bit of damage, but you know, again, it's just not, it's not like a, an emphatic, like think about in the, in the, like the uh, old animated movies, the kind of boom that a door closing would make, like JP is unable to make that kind of concise boom on the door closing. And he is not anywhere near on the level of production that Scoob is at. He's at seven T1 land factories, and Scoob is at, uh, what do we got here? We got six, uh, eight, 10, 11, 12, soon to be, uh, T1 land factories. So, man, Scoob is just going straight in for, he just wants to flood the map with as many units as possible. Which is viable, you know? I mean, there's nothing wrong with that strategy. At 11 minutes, um, you're feeling the, the clock, though, with this kind of strategy. Game pause there real quick, but it's okay, we'll resume. So with this kind of strategy from Scoob, you're feeling, you're feeling the clock, though, right now, because uh, you're not investing in technology. So I don't know if he has any Mexes. So he does have a couple of Mexes. He has one Mex upgraded, but he's not going for T2 land, at least as far as I can tell. He is all in on T1 land. So you're on the clock at that point. Because if JP can stay alive long enough in this particular position, he will be able to push pillars. And pillars, of course, being T2 units, will end up winning against strikers. And so that's that. That then becomes the question. So can uh, JP hang on long enough against the superior forces from Scooby to be able to button this up? And I'm not sure that he can. He's losing perimeter uh, perimeter points here. So he's lost three max extractors as well as that hydrocarbon power plant. His comm is over here on the eastern side of the map. Um, and so I, I don't know whether he's going to make some make some moves with his calm, do a little calm dance in the middle. But um, so he has decided to kind of match Scooby and go for upgraded production, building these additional T1 factories in the middle. I'm not sure that's a great move. I think that you have, I think that you should go all in and just go, you know what? I'm going to go T2. Yeah. You're going to win the spam game, but I'm just going to hunker down and go T2 and I'll be back later. So now we're seeing the T1 flood come in from from Scoob. And there is a lot of there is a good amount of units here to respond from JP, but we're seeing him get a hit by an equal number of units here in the middle, and he will probably he will end up losing these T1 factories in the middle of the in the middle of the map. So not going to be able to keep pace from a production standpoint. Uh, Scoob using his comm as well, front and center. But this attack is going to peter out, and this will leave a lot of mass here for JP to be able to reclaim several hundred mass there to reclaim. That's easy, easy mass upgrades, easy T2 upgrade, etc. Um, but yeah, he's going to lose these factories here in the middle. He might as well just shut off production at that point. Um, Scoob doing a great job at reacting to the commander. So he is all in on pushing this way and just wants to keep everything on this side of the map contained. Um, and so going for these uh, T1 or, or T1 point defense, which due to kind of the angle the walls are really not helping him there like they normally would so we'll see we'll see how scoop reacts to this side 
Uh, JP has done a relatively good job of cleaning up things in his base. He's probably hurting on the power side of things a little bit. Well, okay, maybe not. I, I'm wrong. Um, he lost a good, a good chunk of power generation here in the middle. But I think he needs to get, he needs to go for a a T2 option of some sort. Like you're you're not gonna win if you stay with this uh, T1 spam right here. With the way that Scoob has committed to this spam, like there's just an insane number of factories down here, and JP is forced to bring his com back. Gonna deal with a good number of units. But we have another real nice band here from Scoob pushing up the eastern side of the map. Gonna do some damage, take out another hydrocarbon, so that's another it's another uh, energy option that has been removed from JP's arsenal. And things start getting a little bit tighter. He's unable to expand to this side as much. He lost his hydrocarbon. So Scoob is doing a really great job of playing kind of all sides of the map here and working each side as he can where there is a weakness he's exploiting it and we haven't seen JP be able to do a whole lot with his gun comm here uh, 65 kills that's not terrible but I mean ideally you'd want more on your gun comm than that although we say that and Scoob's in a little bit of trouble with his comm here I don't know if this is enough it all depends on whether JP can get his commander around this corner and be able to block Scoop's commander with his with his units to keep him from to keep him from running away. If JP can get around this corner, he can he can win. Or at the very least force a tie. And his commander seems to be having pathing issues. But okay, so this is an all or nothing thing now for JP. Um, his base is well and thoroughly overrun with strikers and lobos. So this is this is the last hurrah for JP. If he can get a block on Scoob's commander, he will probably be able to. So he needs to pull these units back. Or I don't. I don't even know. He just needs to figure out some way to slow down Scoob's comm so that his comm can get in range and his comm can take out Scoob's comm. These Scorchers though, those are actually doing damage. Last time I checked he was at 4.5 HP and now he's at 3k HP. Oh, there's a common range. A common range. Oh, this one's gonna be tight. I think. I think the comms in range. Target priority. No target priority. There's so much spam for Scoob here. If he had, if he had the appropriate target priority. So if he had that advanced targets mod, guys, he probably could have uh, taken Scoob out here. I think. I don't know. What's the range on? Oh, he has no radar, so he doesn't know. Yeah, he's just he's just walking, trying to trying to find some stuff. Even though I think he was in range there for a good portion of it, he has no radar. So yeah, uh, that is going to be the end of the match. Good game, well played, both of you guys. Um, very different strategies being employed and JP is just going to basically walk himself into Scoop's base and control K, which is understandable considering the point of the game that we were at, but uh, fantastic job. Good game. Well played from both of you guys. Um, this was a pleasure to cast mostly, mostly because it was a game that was uh, very action packed and it's a map that holds a little bit of nostalgia for me, but also because um, I'm really glad to see uh, Scoop climbing the ladder rankings um, this game probably would have put him over 700, um, even with the all-or-nothing T1 rush strat. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you guys like what you saw, consider subscribing. We have a ton of content on this channel uh, surrounding Supreme Commander, so not just casts like the one that you saw, but also testing various ladder matches that I play, 
as well as custom games, tutorials, etc. There's there's a little something here for everybody as far as entertainment on the channel. So without any more uh, shameless plugging of my own channel, I will go ahead and call it there for tonight. Thank you guys again so much, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.